You have got to be kidding me. I let that 24 hours to hard and it's stuck to the clamp, not to the airplane. So apparently there was still enough paint residue, that house paint, the glue couldn't penetrate. So I carved it out where I got raw plastic exposed. And this time by God, well, I think you guys get the picture. So uh, even the uh, Gorilla Glue that I wound up using uh, wound up losing its grip after a while, but I finally got it to hold in place and got a lot of progress done on the Stuka Duster. Uh, got a seat in there and the windshield and the rollover uh, bar slash panel plus uh, doors for the hopper. A little touch up on the paint work and add the spreader bar to more or less done. I also finished off the uh, monogram JU87D Stuka and that one kind of took on a life of its own in a way that it shouldn't have. Um, I, I decided to use, I didn't have any yellow paint left, but I do have acrylic ink, which doesn't have to be thin. It goes right through the airbrush. The problem is it goes on very thin. So, uh, I wound up using that to mark the wings and did a good job over the uh, light Luftwaffe blue. Um, good enough. Um, I'm not going to get too far in the weeds on this, but unfortunately when I tried to, uh, use dark primer to do a cigar band, it really couldn't. Uh, do it. So I wound up wiping that off using the same Luftwaffe blue and then doing the cigar band, but it just had more trouble than it did on the bottom of the wings. So um, I got an acceptable band, but uh, not probably as bright as it should be. I was a little, that, that, that ink, you, you had to lay on a lot. And I mean, a lot of like eight or 10 or 12 really thin layers. If you put much on it, it'll just run. So uh, that caused some cleanup issues later. But I did get it on there and uh, got the rest of the model put together. Finished the wings completely before they went on the airplane. And of course, then what should have been the simplest thing went south on me. I think I told you I lost the prop shaft, which goes through a hole in the inner piece that's also the lower radiator, that firewall. And when I made a shaft and put it the prop and then slid it in, apparently I didn't have it lined up with the hole and it knocked that whole piece, that whole big flat firewall piece loose. And I wound up having to fish it out and try to figure out how to get it back in place without breaking the fuselage open. I mean, it was a major step backwards. And you know, I had to put it in there because uh, without it, you don't have a radiator. You just look right through where the radiator is supposed to be. And that would look like, like, that would look like crap. So uh, as I was worming it in there and wiggling it and trying to make it happen, eventually I wound up accidentally breaking the lower seam. But that turned out to be a good thing. I was able to get it in there, get the prop shaft through it, and then worm it in there and uh, get it through to come out the front. And eventually I got everything fixed. That was really more aggravation than it should be. And uh, so you guys will be glad to know that I, I finally finished it off. I was looking for some black Balkan crosses to put on the fuselage on the side. All of them I had were too big. But then I found pictures of uh, Stukas and, and Winter Camo that still had the white crosses for whatever reason. So uh, that made life simple. I was able to use the existing decals. And it's uh, pretty much done now. Uh, there was a lot of touch up along the way. And, and then, of course, the occasional place where you put your finger and you shouldn't or something. And it winds up smudging the, um, you know, you thought the paint was, well, it was dry, but it still managed to, to smudge it up a little bit or... Uh, just, you know, the more you work on it, the more you find the old touch-ups and the new spray never quite matches the old spray. You got to be careful not to let it get out of hand. But, um, and uh, then I, I, I put the wings on as almost the last step. Uh, some of the little antennas and things went on afterwards. And the very last thing I did was rig the antenna wire. But it, it's all together and one of the wheels popped off. I don't know why. I had good glue and glue bond, but uh, that was an easy repair. And finally, I uh, got it got it done and when i was done i was like now where am i going to put it i don't even have room left for 148 scale models so i broke down and rearranged some of the shelves and now i have another shelf in the tarbis which was immediately filled up but now i've got all the stukas on display it makes a little more room upstairs for some of the uh, hand carved wooden models so you know progress was made and I, I it's not a perfect build it's nothing i'd enter into a contest but it looks good on the shelf and I, I really had a lot of fun doing this just playing with the airbrush and everything which is so much fun and i do have one more stuka left but i promise that's all the stukas for a while it's the academy 172nd scale and i've already got one of those on the shelf here in the house so um we'll we'll move on to other things 
Gosh, what possibly could I start on next? Oh, gee, let me think. And uh, also, guys, uh, get started here soon on the next viewer's build, which will be the ugly car or auto. Take your pick. Uh, please uh, remember that the whole spirit of the group builds is to make something for the build. And that'll be about a month to six to build one. So whether it's an airplane by Blumenvoss or an Edsel or something along those lines, whatever you think is ugly, of course, that's subjective. So, and it doesn't, it can be a kit bash or a concept car or one of the wacky races. It doesn't matter. We're just shooting for the ugliest things that fly and roll. And, uh, by the way, have you ever been at a coffee shop and you're like, you know, they're just giving these building supplies away. <laughs> you know, these, this is going to look so good on a diorama. I can make a log cabin out of this, or I can make crates, or I can make a, a pier or just about any wooden structure, you know, uh, you know, one guy's swizzle stick is another guy's uh, miniature two by four. <laughs> well, that's what I got for right now, guys. I uh, had some computer problems tonight and still having them actually, which is why everything's running so far behind. Um, I completely had to take out, remove and reload my editing software. That took a while. So there we go. We have, uh, we have Stuka and we have a little bit more shelf. So life is good. It was a beautiful day down here in Florida today, and I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are at. You take care of yourselves, guys, and as always, model on. Mm -hmm.